Hello everyone, welcome to this Rockwell Alan Brantley motion control series video. In the previous two videos, I introduced the essential motion control instructions. For example, servo on, reset, home, jog, and MEM positioning control. And in this video, when we mainly talk about the online test, I will download those programs into the controller, and we will online test those instructions. All right, let's start it. All right, let's download the program and let's go to the online test. Start. To monitor our access, two important value, that is uh, the actual position and speed. So we can prepare this access, this actual position and actual velocity here, and we can watch them. Or we can go to the control tags and expand this variables within this access value and scroll down, find out the actual position, actual velocity, or the average velocity we need to monitor. And then we can drag to the right side here, so it can separate into two individual windows here. And here we can monitor them, click this monitor tax. Now it's a zero. And here, this side, this is our instruction side. Now. We can turn on this safety all OK, basically demonstrate that safety is OK. And firstly, we can reset our access. And now the system is not under the shutdown status. So we can reset. We can also use the control and the T to toggle the variable. OK, the access fault shows zero. That means no fault now. And now we can home our access. So turn on the system in manual mode and turn on this. Here shows PC. PC means process complete. That means we home the access successfully. And now the actual position shows zero. We home the access. The reason why is zero, that's because we set this virtual access, that home position equal to zero. If we set 100 here, once we trigger this home, so the access will be 100. Okay, now in manual mode, if we turn on this jog forward, so we will see our access will start to move. So if I turn on, so we will see our access start to move. Okay, that is the forward direction. If I turn this off, so we'll see, because we program this jog stop using this logic, that's why once I release this jog, it's under the speed control actually. So once I release this command, the access will stop. If I turn on this reverse command, so we'll see the access go reverse direction. So the speed shows negative. Okay, if I turn this off, so it will stop here. This is the jog in manual mode, okay? Now I can turn this manual mode off and we can test this motion control. The first position that is a 2000, if I trigger this command, right click, click this toggle, or we can press the control T. So it will trigger this command and then we can see our access will go to this 2000 position okay once it's reached 2000 so it will stop automatically and this command will show the process complete while it's moving it will show ip ip means in process and let's watch the next so let me trigger this position tool turn this on and shut it off. So once I trigger it, access will head to 5,000, this position. And meantime, here, it was uh, in process. Now it complete shows process complete. So the PC means this command complete here. Okay, and now let's trigger this third one. So we will see it will go to the minus 1,000.
And because we set 300, so we will see the direction that is the negative and speed that is 300 here. It run faster than the previous two command. Okay. Now let me show one thing. Firstly, I will trigger this positioning one. And in a short time, I will trigger this three again. And let's watch this actual position. So firstly, I will trigger this 2000 position. It had to the 2000. And now if I trigger this positioning three, we will see it will stop and then directly head back to the minus 1000. So that means the new command will override the previous command. In terms of this feature, that in motion control area, we call that merge feature. To adjust this merge feature, basically we can adjust if the second command override the previous one, or we can still continue run the existing motion control and merge or add another motion control command. How to merge the speed and how to deal with the positioning control. So we need to adjust this merge setting. According to the manual Logix 5000 controller motion instructions, this manual, inside this manual, it shows this merge table. So we can check out the setting we need. According to the test I just shown in the screen, so I adjust that merge as a disable. That's why the second instruction will override the previous one because I disable this merge. It will cancel or kill the previous instruction and run the new one. In the actual case, you can according to your actual requirements and adjust this. You can read this merge setting carefully. Okay, now we are at minus 1000 this position. Okay, next, let's test this go home. So once I trigger this go home command, then the axis will face into the home area. Basically, we can use this motion to allow this axis approach to the home prop. So once the axis touch the home prop, it will actually home the axis. But this command will allow the axis closer to the home prop. So once it's got this position, it shows PC process complete. And then let's try this. So firstly, I will trigger the command, let the access run to the 5000 position. And on the way, let's change a new speed. So firstly, let's prepare this new speed to 333, for example. And let's trigger a new command. For example, this positioning to 5000, that initial speed, that is a 250. So let's trigger that first. And now this axis is running 250. And let's scroll down. And once I trigger this change dynamic, let's watch this speed. Okay, once I trigger it, we can see the speed will change to 333, this new speed. Okay, this is a change dynamic. Because when we execute this command, when it's moving, so this motion will follow this 250 the speed will not be changed. So this command allows us to change the speed dynamically. Okay, next thing, let's test the stop. Let's trigger this positioning one, this command, and then let's trigger this command stop. Okay, trigger. Okay, now it start to move. And once I trigger this stop, so the axis will stop there. So we can see, we can stop the access. And to re-trigger this motion, we need to re-trigger this command. So once I re-trigger it, the access, the motion will start to move towards to the 2000. All right, this is the motion command. And in this access one underscore MC underscore instruction. It includes all the essential motion instruction. Basically, this routine can be used as a template. Probably you could add more instructions, but basically this template can cover 70% or 80% instructions. The regular motion control task, especially for the P2P positioning control. Probably you could add some MC instructions, follow your application, right? 
And in next video, I will show how can we know the current access status. For example, how can we know our access is at a stop status? And how can we use the trend, the curve, to monitor the position and the velocity? All right, see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.